Hello, reporters, and welcome back to my channel. Do you remember Bartiz from Love is Blind season four, who was engaged to Natalie? Well, after shooting the show, he wound up knocking up a girl who seemed to be a one night stand. They had their baby and everything. I thought that they were going to be doing the whole co-parenting thing. But according to Bartiz's Instagram stories yesterday, this woman that he had the child with straight up abandoned him and the child. Mind you, Bartiz wasn't dating her um, at the time. She had a new boyfriend and Bartiz moved on to a new girlfriend as well um, with them having this newborn baby and everything. And Bartiz and her, they were doing the whole co-parenting situation. But now Bartiz is letting it be known that she decided that motherhood just isn't for her. And she has allowed Bartiz to go ahead and take on their son Hayden 100% of the time. Listen, I don't want to condemn this young lady because men do this all the time. It's a full-blown epidemic. Um, so if she felt this way and she's leaving her baby in safe hands, it is what it is at the end of the day. Um, let's take a look at some of the things that Bartiz posted to confirm it. By the way, I don't know how people were writing in with these sorts of questions because I follow him on Instagram, but not enough to like be thinking about his co-parenting and find anything like kind of suspicious about the amount of time he spends with this kid. But um, some of you guys truly are eagle eyed. So he didn't ask me anything uh, feature. And someone asked, does Hayden's mom still see him? Do you have full custody? To which Bartiz posted a video of their son, Hayden. And captioned it saying she doesn't see him anymore it's just the boys now obviously the boys being bartiz and hayden listen uh, and he did answer some more questions which i will get to a little bit later but i kind of just want to ask you guys what you think could have been the reason for her to straight up decide that she no longer wants to be a mom uh, one thing i will say is that when it was announced that this was bartiz's baby mama the amount of vitriol she received online about her looks was insane like so many people, pretty much every comment was like, Bartiz, you were dogging Natalie on her looks, talking about you go for the best of the best. Your girlfriends are always hotter, hotter, hotter. And you wound up with this woman. So like people were calling this woman very ugly, which I always felt like was very cruel to do to a woman, um, especially one who just ha happened to give birth and is going through like postpartum um, hormones and probably, you know, potentially anxiety, depression and all that sort of stuff. Like the way that the public treated her was terrible. OK, so I wonder if that played any kind of a role in all of this. And second of all, when I looked through her TikTok account, she had been posting videos about how she didn't even know that she was pregnant for the longest time. She has like an incredibly flat stomach, like where you see the ab lines and everything. And it stayed that way pretty much throughout her entire pregnancy up until the very end. So perhaps due to that, she wasn't able to bond fully with the baby. I don't know. Those are just two possible reasons that i am speculating on right now if you guys have any others definitely do feel free to leave them in the comment section because as of right now there are no answers bartiz did tease on his instagram that he would share the full story later but for now all we can do is speculate now someone else asked him if him and his girl broke up and bartiz is like well i don't know which one you're talking about um specifically it could have been the baby mama it could have been this woman this woman i think her name was ashley was the woman that Bartiz debuted on his social media shortly after it was announced that he was a single father, that he had just had a baby and everything. So I guess Bartiz went from knocking up a one night stand to quickly getting with a new girl and quickly breaking up with a new girl. It really is a lot to go through. So hopefully he starts to take his time and relax a little bit. There is no rush. There is no hurry. Um, uh, you, he is in his hashtag single dad era. And that's what's most important here. Like he will eventually, in my opinion, or, you know, uh, he, he probably will eventually find somebody to settle down with. But for now, there's no need to be rushing through all these women like this. Guys, do you wonder how Natalie feels about all of this? The way that she was ready to marry this man, but he had her feeling like she was the ugliest girl in the world, that she was not good enough for him, that this, 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 that, and the other. And meanwhile, look at how their lives turned out. Bartiz got baby daddied right? He can't keep a woman. And Natalie just seems to be living her best life. She's making a lot of money on social media, giving out financial advice. Her real estate empire is continuing to grow. Now she's got all these other forms of passive income coming in. Like she is living her best life right now. Bartiz, what does he do? I think it's great that he is a full-time single father, that he has accepted responsibility for his child, unlike the mother. Um, 
But what does he do? He like sits in front of a green screen and looks at old videos of Love is Blind. You know, I don't know how lucrative that is because people aren't watching old episodes. They're watching new episodes, right? Um, whereas Natalie is making the most out of her social media platforms. Honestly, life comes at you fast, you guys. So be very careful how you speak to other people and how you treat other people because the way the tables have turned in this kind of uh, desirability politics between Bartiz and Natalie yeah, let me just leave that video off here. Once again, um, congratulations to Bartise on his son. I hope that um, he's got his, his family seems very tight knit. So I hope that they are stepping up to help him out because it can't be easy, right? Raising a child completely alone. So hopefully this village is here to help him. I know that his sister recently gave birth as well. So perhaps they will raise these kids kind of like almost siblings or something like that, help each other out a lot. Who knows? Only time will tell. Bartiz did say that he was going to reveal more information soon. So definitely make sure to stick around for that. Um, in fact, I do have an audio clip of him saying that. So why don't I go ahead and play that audio for you guys now, okay? Here it is. Watch this. Okay, a lot of you guys are asking about the, my situation with Hayden and his family and my family and his mom. And I'll get into that a little bit later. I wanted to keep this lighthearted and fun and provide some joy on this Sunday. Um, so that's what we're going to do. I'll talk, I will talk about this one day, uh, but today's not the day. Thanks for your concern, though. Uh, uh. So there you go, you guys. He's going to talk about it someday, but today is not the day. Stay tuned. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, because I sure as hell will be providing an update when it comes along. That's all for now. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Bye.